We're here today at one of my favorite venues, Barston Lakes, which is renowned for its feeder fishing and big carp. But today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different. The sun's out, the fish are up in the water. We're gonna catch shallow on the pole. On venues like this, fish tend to be further out in the lake, and this is purely down to how it's fished, with the carp anglers spotting particle baits and that in areas further out in the lake to have their own target spot so they can build swims. And for match anglers, their feed sort of eight millimeter pellets at a line where they can fish comfortably and target fish and bring them into the area and be in control of their swim. So fish always tend to be a little bit further out, but what we're trying to achieve today, we're trying to bring those fish in. So what we're gonna do is sort of mimic that, but closer in. We're gonna fish 14 and a half meters on the pole to start with, and we're gonna fish six millimeter pellets quite heavily. So when I mean heavy, I'm gonna put 20 or 30 in a pouch, and I'm gonna be spraying them over the end of the pole tip to try and bring the fish into the area. We're not feeding anywhere else in the swim, so hopefully we'll be able to home them in. And the trick is, once they're there, we'll fine tune what we're doing to try and maximize our catch rate the best we can. And that could be by starving them on the hook, by slowing the feed right down, or if we can't quite keep them in the area, we'll be keeping the feed quite regular and upping it and changing it until we find that perfect scenario. Slapping is a devastating technique when fishing shallow. It's probably the most popular way of catching them. Basically, you're spinning a rig round, which has got a spread out shot and your hook bait. So it's making free plops, which is basically imitating pellets going in the swim. And it tricks carp and you can catch them very easily. However, on pressured waters like Barston, slapping can get tricky. The fish wise up to it, so you have to change your methods of slapping, going from three or four times slapping it round without feeding anything, you find yourself not getting any bites. So up in the feed and just popping a little shallow rig just past your bait, just in no man's land as such, you can pick off fish from the edge of the feeding fish, which works very, very well. Also, changing your feed up, so basically you're fishing deeper in your swim. You've probably got five or six foot of water there, so you can play from anything sort of like from three foot down to one foot, change your rig patterns, change your shotting patterns. Lots of different ways can change how the fish feed and respond to your hook bait. So you've got to keep changing it up. It's not just a case of slapping a rig round and hoping for the best. Taking into consideration the different ways of catching the fish in the swim when you're fishing shallow, it's very important to have a few different rigs set up. Starting off with an AR style float, which has got a body and a nice short bristle. This is perfect for lots of different conditions. It sits perfectly and it will show bite indications nicely. I change between a 0.2 and maybe a 0.3, depending on the conditions and the depth of the swim. But basically this is my trial and error rig, which I use. I tie it up slightly longer than normal, so I can adjust the lash above the float if the fish are spooky. And also I can adjust the depth quite easily to try and find what level the fish are feeding at. Also with the shot, sometimes I'll have the shot right under the bottom of the float, which is perfect for the most natural fall of your hook bait. Or sometimes I'll control that by putting a couple of shot down the line to control how it falls through the swim. This is an important thing to do when it's windy. And then obviously if the fish are feeding and I need to get that hook bait in the perfect position, I will bulk the shot up maybe four or six inches away from the hook and I'll just lay the rig in so it shots nice and quickly so we're fishing straight away. As I'm sure you've seen, we're not really fishing for small carp today. They're all decent fish. So balanced gear is very, very important. Now you might be surprised, shallow fishing is usually associated with a bit of finesse, but not in this case at Barston. We're fishing black hydroelastic. To be honest, I could probably fish a purple when they're under my feet, but I like the fish to swim out my swim as soon as I hook them. So a nice soft, slightly softer elastic is really important. And then I'm down to 019 N-gauge mainline. Yeah, 019. So we're not messing about. It's very durable. 
and then that's down to an 017 hook length just to balance it out. And that's to a size 16 Super LWG eyed hook with the band off the back. So nice balance gear, but very heavy balance gear. And then of course your slapping rig, which is a very, very positive rig. For me, I use a cookie float because it sits straight away, it's positive, you can see it, it's got a nice rounded body, and when conditions are right, it fishes fantastic. But for this rig, I usually have the shot all under the float, and I'm just fishing between six, maybe to 10 inches deep. Although this is my positive rig, as I said, with the slapping rig, you tend to slow down your feed, so you will need to alter how you're fishing it. So I can push the float up, I can move the shot away, I can change it up to maximize that catch rate. <laughs> Once I've got control of him, I'd like to show you a little tip, which I do quite a lot. Obviously we're feeding quite heavy, we're keeping the swim going. What I like to do is when he behaves himself and plays, as soon as the pole's balanced, there you go, it's balanced on my lap, I just lean my arm on it and feed again. It's really important to keep the swim going, especially in competition, because you want a fish to be waiting there as soon as you ship back out. Hook baits for this style of fishing is really simple. You're heavily feeding six millimetre pellets into your swim. So for me, the best hook bait is what you're feeding. So a banded six millimetre pellet works perfect and that's what I'll start on. But as the session progresses, sometimes you need a little bit of a change. Not always will your rig make the difference, but changing the colour of your hook bait and the size of your hook bait to maybe an eight millimetre pellet or a six millimetre red pellet can make all the difference. Using pellets is the best way forward on this venue, but generalizing it, you can really swap it up. So do your research on the venue you're fishing. Sometimes casters or maggots can be better for fishing shallow or even lunching meat, worms, different things. So do your homework and hopefully it will put a lot more fish in your net. Pole length is very important. On a venue like this, the fish tend to be further out. So I want to fish long, but you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. So I'm going to start off at 14 and a half meters, which is a nice length. You're well out in the lake. I'm going to feed that. But what I've always got behind me is I've got one more section. So if the fish do back off, get a little bit spooky, I've got room to move further out and start my feeding again and hopefully catch a few more bonus fish before the end of the session. <laughs> 